So I am getting ready f to head out to school. It is 12.14. My class actually starts at 2 today. And it is Wednesday. I have biology at 2 o'clock. I am extremely tired just because I just didn't get enough sleep last night. And I had work last night from 5 to 11. So... Um, I should have slept in actually kind of today since class starts at 2 and I woke up at like 8.10 but I wanted to take a shower and have like enough time to also eat breakfast and everything. I had breakfast. I had um, soup and a hot chocolate for breakfast just because that's all we really had today and I wasn't really craving too much either way so yeah. Um, I had left you guys off on Thursday when I was supposed to go to work, but of course a lot of things happened, just a lot of crazy stuff, so I wasn't able to go. So on Friday I went to therapy. Unfortunately I didn't film too much, I didn't film anything that day just because um, I was a little hectic that day and... It was, a, it was an emotional day and like I just pretty much just hung out with my boyfriend the rest of the day and all we do is our usual which is just eat and just watch TV and that's pretty much it. I didn't work on any homework or anything like that. And then on Saturday, um, I actually started my job for the first time and it was kind of nerve wracking and everything but it was alright. It was okay. I was working with a manager I've been speaking to and texting to before I um before I started work and everything he's the one who hired me and everything so we we got to know each other a little bit um and then on Sunday I didn't do anything either I didn't really do anything I just worked on homework pretty much hung out with my boyfriend because he's off Sundays and Mondays so I hung out with him I really can't remember too much of what we did but yeah, that's all we really did. I think we just really slept in. <laughs> I think that's all we did was just sleep in. And then on Monday, uh, I went to school a little bit early just because I thought I had scheduled my booster shot on on Monday at 11. But I got the dates mixed up and I it was supposed to be next week. But thankfully, they were able to actually squeeze me in because they didn't really care too much about, like, appointments or anything. Just as long as, like, you just get your booster shots, that's all right. So they had that scheduled for me. And so my boyfriend actually hung out at my school. We ate breakfast there. We ate burritos and I got my booster shot. And then we hung out a little bit more right after until my class started. And then I went to bio on Monday, and and then our communication our communications class was get was canceled because um, we're doing speeches for our um, civic engagement speech, but nobody had really signed up for the first for the first day, so he canceled it and was like, okay, we'll get everybody else signed up for Wednesday and next Monday. So we did all that, and then because. I had gotten my booster shot, I knew that I would have like a really bad effect because the first time I got my two vaccines before, I had felt just horrible the night of and the day of after I got the vaccine. So I knew I would be horrible and like they had warned me like, hey, just take it easy for the night and the next day. But the next day was Tuesday and it was math and I really, really wanted to go since I had missed Thursday since of course you guys were there. and. It was a hectic day. I ended up missing it. I didn't want to miss Tuesday, but I had to because the night of, I was just like, I was in and out of like being cold and being hot and like I felt so tired and drowsy. Like I almost felt like I wanted to throw up that night too. I ended up not doing so, but I felt like I really wanted to throw up. So, um, 
throughout the whole night, I was, like, rethink, I was, like, overthinking everything. I was, like, should I call my job, or, like, should I call out, or, I know it's only my second day of, <laughs> of working, but I, I really don't want to call out, but I really feel like calling out, and blah, blah, blah. I ended up not going to math class, which I really hated, but for me, and, like, for everybody else, like, I, I did not want to be at the school, and I, I did just, I didn't want to walk so much to the point where, like, I ended up would get, end up getting worse and so that's what I ended up doing and I did end up going to um work just because I felt a little bit better and because I ended up not going to math class I just slept in the whole night and the pretty much the majority of the day just so I could recuperate and get myself all situated so that's what I did and so today I'm feeling a whole lot better than yesterday definitely I did feel a little bit drowsy yesterday just because I had slept in and I don't usually sleep in just because I don't like it like I feel like I'm missing a whole day if I sleep and then I'm like left with the night time to do everything I need to do so that's what I that's what I did <laughs> I haven't been able to work on too much on homework I worked on a page of homework yesterday for my English um, paper but that's all pretty much that I did um, the only thing I'm really concerned about is starting my s practicing my speech for my communications class because I did sign up for a Monday slot so I really want to get started on doing that because every time I the last two speeches that I did I've only been able to practice like maybe like two or three days which isn't well because I really need to practice those speeches and I need to practice on making them longer and working on my conclusion of the speech because it seems like I've been doing horrible on that so I'm trying to do better on that um but right now I am headed to go to bio I was really debating on going to bio because of how tired I am but because it's pretty much the last day to go to bio and we've already finished all of the slides I just I'm kind of confused why we're going to bio which is why I am going just to make sure I'm not missing anything important because he does want to talk about the final that is due I think it's next week or the week after I'm not too concerned about it because I usually get a, a somewhat decent grade on it but it's the only bio class I'm going to be taking for the next four or three years of my college <laughs> life so as long as I pass it I'm fine like even if it's not a good grade I'm fine with it just as long as I pass same with my math class but my math class final is next week on on Thursday so I'm not con too concerned about it today will be pretty much the same thing bio and communications class and then I will try to attempt to work on my paper since it is due this Saturday um even though I did write out my whole week I kind of like lost track of it ever since um I started work really um so yeah it's been going good though because I'm already on page 11 and all that's due there's a minimum page of like 12 pages that you have to do which is great because I was not about to write 15 pages I thought originally it was supposed to be 15 pages but then I had looked back at the assignment and it's only like 12 pages that's supposed to be due which is I'm I'm great with so that's I'm figuring my life out um, sorry if I also sound snotty, um, the weather change, it's actually gonna, it's starting to get cold here, <laughs> which is great, but also they think because I walk, I walk in the cold, I'm not able to, you know, have hot air blowing on me constantly, I now have a snotty nose, and because the buildings inside of the school get so, so hot, I don't know why they crank up the heat so hot for, but that change of temperature is like, it just messes up my body so much so <laughs> and then yesterday because of my because I got the booster shot the booster shot made my body feel hot and cold and it was just crazy so yeah my body's now my not my nose is now snotty so that's what I'm dealing with but I am not sick I'm not it's just a runny nose um funny thing is though when I did go to work yesterday 
my nose bled in the middle of my shift, which is, was horrible. It bled through my mask I was wearing because we do have to wear masks because it's just mandatory with um, the Omicron virus, you know, spiking up. And yeah, so I bled through my mask. I was, I'm happy though that I have an extra mask. It's not a good one since I haven't worn it in such a long time. So I haven't washed it in a long time, but it's better than nothing because I don't have any mask other than that. I did wash my other mask though, so I can wear the start start wearing that tomorrow because I do not <laughs> even though and yeah tomorrow I do have work aftermath. Of course that's the only thing I am worried about because um it's my first time going from school to work, which is kind of weird because I don't know if you guys are still new to this channel or watching this this video for the first one before the are you if you guys are watching this one before the first one um i was unable to go to my job last week on thursday because um <laughs> So tomorrow will be like my normal like school work type of thing which is all right also I had work yesterday but because I had skipped school yesterday I also just went straight to work so it'll be new to me from going to you know school to work but once winter break starts it'll just be you know just go to work um and then yeah that's pretty much it I'm also will be having, uh, I do have a morning shift on Saturday as well, which I'm also kind of nervous about because it is still a new job, so I still feel anxiety f when I go to the job, but it's not like bad anxiety, it's just like nervous anxiety, so um, I just, I'm nervous about going to the job every time I go on since it's so new, and I don't know like all the managers yet, I don't know all my coworkers yet. Because um, only two people, no, well, technically three people work the night shifts. But because the manager usually stays in the back to do whatever, um, there's only one coworker on the floor. I don't really talk to that coworker on the floor, though, since I'm at the register, keeping an eye on the register, and the coworker is just um, working around the store to recover everything and fix everything that's around the store. So it'll be my first time working a morning shift. Um, I really don't know the procedures of the morning shift either, so I'm going to go ahead and ask tomorrow with the manager what the procedures are just so I have everything down because I didn't ask at my last job. So, like, I don't know, like, if they keep the door unlocked to, like, let employees in or if, they, if I have to call somebody or have to, like, have a special key or whatever. So I just want to make sure I have everything down, you know. Because I don't want to go in and clueless and having more fear that isn't necessary if I sh if I can just ask the questions that I need to ask, you know. Like, I'm working on that. I'm working on asking questions because it's, it's bad for my mental health I, if I don't ask because I feel guilty about asking. Like, there's nothing to feel guilty about if you need the help, you know. So, I'm going to get ready to... Now, it is 1237. I just need to put a sweater on because, of course, it's starting to be cold. I don't want to freeze. And even if it's not cold right now, it's going to be cold later since the sun sets so at around 4. And my last class ends at 647. So, of course, it's going to be cold. So, I'm going to leave you guys here. All right. See you later, guys. Peace. Somebody, I say you don't cross my mind And she doesn't know that 
Your favorite place is still mine Now I take the long way home Avoid what I can let go I don't always think about you But sometimes I do Cause sometimes I drive through All of the streets we used to on First Avenue Cause sometimes I don't even know where I'm going at first All of the turns that I had to unlearn Back to the surface, the feeling of all that we were I don't always think about you Till First Avenue That's when I do Sometimes I do Cause sometimes I drive through All of the streets we used to On First Avenue Cause sometimes I don't even know where I'm going at first All of the turns that I had to unlearn Back to the surface, the feeling of all that we were I don't always think about you Till First Avenue when I do I don't always think about you But sometimes I do Cause sometimes I drive all of the streets we used to On First Avenue Cause sometimes I don't even know where I'm going at first All of the turns that I had to unlearn Back to the surface, the feeling of all that we were I don't oh. Hey guys um, I'm talking loudly cause It's very quiet outside and I don't know who's outside Anyways um, Violet was boring, um, he did have one extra slide, but that's really it. We finished that slide all in the one hour that we had with him, even a little bit under an hour, actually. So, yeah. Um, I spent the hours between, um, this class, well, this class in biology, um, pretty much doing homework. I did my biology homework that was due. So, well, I sort of finished it. I just have some questions about it, so I'm not ready to submit it yet. Um, I, I went to my communications class but the people presenting didn't show up, only one person, and that one person didn't want to present first because he was just uncomfortable with it, so he was like, okay, I guess class is canceled, you guys can all leave now, so I'm now waiting for my ride to get here. Um, let me show you guys a view of the city first because this is what I was... It's so pretty, and there's like light up trees so yeah um but Monday there will be a lot of people presenting and like he's gonna make it like a full two hours so hopefully I don't go over the time limit because he does not want that hey guys it is 
Friday, the 10th today. Um, I think the last time I got you, I had informed you guys it was um, Wednesday. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to film too much yesterday just because I had slept in. I was so tired the night of I just I really wanted to sleep in and I like literally dragged myself out of bed just to go to math class I did make it to class on time that time so <laughs> yay me but um it was a very boring class to be honest like all we did was pretty much talk about what we were gonna be like what we should expect to see on our final and then he just gave us examples that we were that we had already worked on in class like previously so it wasn't too helpful because all he did was resolve the plot the problem that we already had the answer to so <sighs> but I did go to work yeah uh yesterday as well it was I mean gonna be honest it was work has been a little iffy for me but I'm trying to like still get the feel of it um just because um one of my co-workers actually got promoted to manager so I actually had two managers watching over me last night which sort of freaked me out just because um that it's I already have a difficult time with one one manager now I have two managers eyeballing me and watching me and since it's just the three of us they're both managers they're both in charge of me <laughs> so they literally have to keep an eye on me so I did mess up quite a bit yesterday but I am working on it um and then today it is Friday and nobody is at the house as you guys can see which is why I'm filming um I was planning on waking up early but I really wanted to embrace having a day off for me because I do not have work today or school. I never have school on Fridays. Um, so I'm trying to embrace that. I just woke up if you can't tell by the hair. Um, uh, today I was planning on practicing my speech while the, um, while my siblings are gone just because I feel embarrassed practicing my speech in front of them and I kind of need to do it out loud. I don't want to do it, you know, quietly while doing it has been a struggle so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I was trying to watch YouTube but of course if I watch YouTube then I'm gonna procrastinate and everything and I do not want to do that also let me show you guys something that happened last night let me let me go ahead and show you guys I'm very excited for this oh, I can't tell it's bright it started snowing uh I'm so happy. I mean, it's not a lot of snow, and it's not snowing anymore. Actually, just a sprinkle. Just a tiny sprinkle, but that, that, I love it. It's like our first snow that we've had, literally, in Colorado. We actually set a world record by the longest amount of time it hasn't snowed. <laughs> so I'm really glad it did snow, because I really wanted a white Christmas. Like, I am, like, so used to, like... I'm pretty sure most people are used to like having snow in December and you know celebrating and opening the Christmas while it's snowing and the, the past couple of years it hasn't snowed on Christmas but it's at least snowed had snow outside so and even the year before even like we had snow and like it was deep snow that my brothers were able to like have like a snow like they had like made divots into the ground so they could walk because it was such a struggle to walk on to walk in the snow and they even like slid their sleds down the little tiny hill that we have which was really fun <laughs> so um so I'm really happy that it snowed so um hopefully it will continue I even though like I don't like walking in snow it's good that we have snow because we need it so yeah um, what did I do yesterday anyways? Just besides work. Um, my boyfriend and I hung out. I made salmon and salad, um, for dinner because that's, uh, I didn't eat anything all day so I kind of wanted a big full meal even though I'm not really supposed to do that but <laughs> I was hungry and all I had was soup for breakfast 
it was soup that my mom had previously already bought, so I just took that and ate it for breakfast. Um, but yeah, that's all I pretty much did the rest of the day. I just went to school and then I actually had went to the library after school just because I do have time between school and work. Because I get off of school at 1.45, but yeah, 1.45 and I get off and I start school at 5. So yeah, it's a big gap and of course I do have to take account of, you know, traveling to my job, which is about roughly an hour. So I take an hour to get to work and then, you know, I still have a little bit of time between. It's like maybe like two hours. So I take those two hours, I go to the library because the library literally closes at like five. So I just stay there until I have to go to work. So I went to the library um, and uh, I worked on my essay pretty much. All that, That's literally all I did. I was stuck in a writer's block though because I like legit did not know what else to write. And um, I don't know if I told you guys the subject or not, or if you're new, but I am writing an essay, a 12, 12 to 15 page essay on, um, well, our teacher wants us to write on a topic that interests us, but it's also controversial. So he doesn't want us to write anything about like music or like, or like our favorite artist. He wants us to do on like a major issue that is happening in the world that affects everybody and us. So... Um, I chose my topic on school shootings and how schools go around on um, making rules and all of that for school shootings and um, I just got really stuck because I pretty much had the whole gist of like what I wanted to write and I just ended up editing my whole essay just revising everything and then I finally was able to add a couple more things in between and so I got my 12 pages. I just need to now write my conclusion. So maybe just a little bit more than 12 pages, which I'm really happy about actually, because I don't want to be that person that has like the minimum of 12 pages, you know, like I'm just doing like the bare minimum and I don't want to be the type of student who just, you know, I gave you what was required at least, <laughs> you know, I may not be so achieving and too you know, keen on writing 15 pages, but at least I have like 13, so I'm a little bit, you know, towards there. <laughs> um, and I think that's it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, I do have work tomorrow on Saturday in the morning. I had asked my manager what, like, the opening proceedings are. Um, what I was kind of hinting at at her, though, was, like, if the doors were going to be open or not, if I come in, because not everybody knows who I am, so, I don't know, I guess we'll figure that out as we go, but at least I know what to do once I'm inside, and, yeah, so, that's how my day is going to look like, and then I'm going to finish my essay, hopefully, because it is due tomorrow. I also do have, I also want to go over my genetic assignment, because I'm still unsure about three um, questions, and it's also due tomorrow. So, yeah. At least I work in the morning, because I also don't have work Monday, um, Sundays or Mondays, so it's fine by me. Um... I also have to update you on what's been ha what's my plan for next week. So, since it's finals week pretty much next week, um, I only have class on Monday to do my communications um, speech because that's pretty much our final plus an additional final that we it's a quiz. But you won't have us. Uh, it's a online quiz, so we don't have to come in for that. So. Um, so I have class Monday just for that class. I'm all done with biology pretty much. Like the last class was on um was on Wednesday and so yeah. He, um he did give us a slide that day too. I had told you guys like I was unsure about like whether or not what he was going to be teaching us cuz I had thought we had finished all the slides on on Canvas, but apparently he still had one more to do. So we had finished that one slide all in one day with a few extra 
um, minutes to spare too because we finished it early so um yeah so I'm pretty much all done with bio now I just have to do the quizzes for it and the exam because he has both for some reason but it's not due for like the next two weeks so I'm fine I'm not too worried about it um so I only have to attend the one class tomorrow on Monday and then I do not have math class on Tuesday just because um we're they're not allowed to have two classes a week of finals just to just so they can do the test so um so we don't have class Tuesday but we do um and then Wednesday I won't have any more classes since we'll be done doing our speeches and I'm already done with finals so I won't have any classes Wednesday and then Thursday is the math final so I do have to come into class for that it will be two hours it's gonna be from day from 12 30 to like 2 30 so it's gonna be a two-hour class um there, he's gonna give us six questions to do but we only but he but he wants us to only do four there we go he only wants us to do four of them and it's gonna be on three different um topics that we've done which is patterns on um, geometry and counting so we have to do three of those and then one extra one that we can choose to do so we can do that and then um we can leave right after or we can stay if we need more time and then Friday, no class, my last day of school, all done. And then I'm all free after that. Uh, no more stress, I guess. Well, it kind of stressed for me because I still need to figure out all my cl other classes because the majority of the classes I signed up for next semester are, um, what's it called? Hybrid classes, which means that they're both online and in class, so they're so they provided like a class like number and like the building that you're supposed to go for it but they never provided like the dates for when you're supposed to come in so i'm still trying to figure that out of course i'm gonna um take a little bit of time to figure that out just because i do have a couple weeks to figure it out